today we gather to celebrate the wedding and the marriage of Jeffrey and Rebecca, two souls destined to be together. Though you stand here almost by yourselves today, we have our friends with us, everyone at home who loves you, supports your union in heart and spirit. Rebecca and Jeffrey, you came here today as committed partners, friends and lovers, and you will leave with two more monikers, husband and wife. Your relationship will be the same and yet different. Like the water that lies before us, it will be ever changing, yet always there. Sometimes it could be cloudy or even stormy, but just like today, there's always a break in the clouds and we always know that your love is shining above the storms. How special it is to get married on the beach today because patience, fortitude, and the passage of time have made these random elements which are present everywhere in the universe into a beautiful and natural oasis that we can enjoy. A sanctuary from the outside world, a natural wonder that remains protected only through the goodwill of those who believe in it and love it. Like love, the waves are never still, the water never the same, yet it is always perfect just as it is. Like the waves lapping the shore, love is an ever-moving being, a place of boundless power and possibility. From this day, you will be together forever. As you travel through life, remember that the true measure of success, the true avenue to joy and peace, is to be found in the love you hold in your hearts. Support that love, protect it, nurture it, give it time to grow and mature, and soon you will see what we have before us, a vision of splendor and paradise. In the words of a close family friend to remember at this moment, if you have a tender message or a loving word to say, do not wait till you forget it, but whisper it today. The tender word unspoken, the letter never sent, the long forgotten messages, the wealth of love unspent. For these, some hearts are breaking. For these, some loved ones wait. So show them that you care for them before it is too late. You met in the most modern of ways. In March 2016, you spoke for a while, then you went out to dinner, and you were so comfortable together, you hung out and talked until 3 a.m. Communication came easily, and you found yourselves wanting to know and be known by each other. Though getting up the next morning at 6 was a challenge for Jeff, it was ultimately a worthwhile one, because here we are today. You live about one hour apart, so it wasn't easy to get together on a moment's notice, but it taught you to value your time together. You introduced your children, Cody, Anthony, Deegan, and Maggie, and you are one happy family together. Realizing that you wanted to be together more, you moved in together six months later, and it's been a fun life of adventure and organized chaos ever since. You share the important value of being family-oriented. Your life revolves around your children. You do family vacations to the mountains and amusement parks. You both love the outdoors, hunting, fishing, cooking, and eating. You are a family unit. Rebecca has a large family, and they have absorbed Jeff as their own. He was a keeper. Rebecca, you love how complimentary Jeff is. His positive reinforcement is always comforting to you. He's so easy to talk to and you can be yourself with him, telling him what you're thinking and feeling always. Rebecca, Jeff loves how you communicate together. You admire how she is a great mom, a nurturing homemaker who always has dinner on the table in order to make your life easier. 
comfortable. You love how she lets you help out and you work very well together on projects and planning. In the future, you look forward to traveling to Ireland, Italy, and around the United States and buying a piece of land up in the mountains, having a cabin in the woods, surrounded by family and the nature that you love. By choosing to spend your lives together, you're pledging to share the responsibility of making this union one of equality, understanding, and strength. And now you're making that promise sacred. So I ask you, Rebecca, are you here freely and willingly to pledge your hand and your heart in marriage to Jeffrey today? Jeffrey, are you here freely and willingly to pledge your hand and your heart in marriage to Rebecca today? In that case, I ask you to turn together. Rebecca, do you take Jeffrey to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and to care for as long as you both shall live? Do you take Jeff with all his faults and strengths? Do you offer yourself with all your faults and strengths? Will you help him when he needs help? And will you turn to him when you need help? Do you choose Jeff as the person with whom you will spend your life? I do. Jeff, do you take Rebecca to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and to care for for as long as you both shall live? Do you take her with all her faults and her strength and offer yourself with your faults and strengths? Will you help her when she needs help? And will you turn to her when you need help? Do you choose her as the person with whom you will spend your life? May we have the rings, please. Jeffrey, I ask you to take Rebecca's ring. Rebecca, please take Jeffrey's ring. I ask you to hold them flat in the palm of your hand as we ponder. These rings, in their unbroken wholeness, are tokens. Tokens of your union tokens of your love. Just as these circles are without end, we know that love is eternal. They represent the enduring trust and affection that you bring to each other today and every day forward. May they ever remind you that your lives are bound together by devotion, faithfulness, and an inner spiritual bond. If you would please put Jeffrey's ring on his finger, hold it there and say, with this ring, I offer myself to you as your wife for as long as we shall live. You may secure the ring on Jeffrey's finger. Jeffrey, please put Rebecca's ring on her finger. Repeat after me. I give you this ring as a token of my love and a promise for everything we are today and every day. Everything we are today and every day. Please put the ring on Rebecca's finger, secure it there. And keep holding hands. Now you will feel no rain for each of you will be sheltered to the other. Now you will feel no cold for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no more loneliness for each of you will be companion to the other. Now you are two bodies, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness. And may your days be good and long on this earth. Rebecca and Jeffrey, in the presence of these two loving friends who came with you today, in the presence of God and the rain and the universe, <laughs> You have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. I therefore declare your marriage to be valid and binding and pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.